Again, this episode we're going to look at flash messages, the easy way. Flash messages is the easy way to put information on a screen, little messages that gives user feedback. Like for instance, now currently if you press buy here, nothing happens. That is because the price is not being set. But the user is not getting any feedback on why he can't buy anything. So what we're going to do is we're going to add a flash message when a user clicks on the buy button and the price hasn't been set that to give the user a little bit of feedback. So for us to do that, we're going to use the Express Flash module that you can find in NPM. So the documentation for the Flash, Express Flash module is a bit scarce. So what I've done is I've created some extra information, some extra documentation, and I put that in GitHub. So we'll use that for this video. So what we'll need to do here is we need to do a NPM install of two modules. So I'm going to go, go ahead here. I press here, install the necessary modules, express that one. And then what we need to do, we need to add that to our code. So I'm going to go here, and add express flash and express session to our code up here. Okay, fix that. And then we go down here, we add some new middleware. So in to express, Put this here below configuring handlebars. I'll put that here. Okay, let's see. So they want to do that. And over here we should single quotes. And then we just need to put in a unique string here that helps us to generate the HTTP session. This is my long string that is used used for sessions in HTTP. Okay, you can put your own string in here. Got that up and running. Just need to do that. Take away some spacing here, some more spacing taken away here. So now we have Express Flash up and running. What we need to do now is we need to check when we are here in our route, when we try to buy something, whether the price has already been set. So as you will note in our shop, factory function currently the price is being returned as part of the settings function so what I need to do in my route is let me extract the price first so let price okay so I'm gonna say here that's gonna be shop dot settings dot price and then we're gonna do that and now we need to check if the price, okay, initially it will be undefined. If nothing is set, it's going to be undefined. Then when I say else, we want to do what we've done in the past. If the price was set, we want to go ahead and buy some products. So we'll do that. Okay, go here. Okay, so now I can go up here. And what I can do here now is I can say request dot flash. And I'm going to say error. Okay. And then I want to say please enter a price below. Okay. So I want to put that message onto the screen. Okay. You'll see here that what we're doing, we're saying request.flash and then error. So error is the key that we're going to be using. And this is the actual message. So we use this error in our template to get a hold of the message that was entered. So if you look here, you'll see down here, we say request.info, and then we say welcome, and down here we say check if that's there, and then we say message.info onto the screen. So I will do something very similar. So we called our message error. So I will need to go here, and you see I have it here already. So I've got messages.error. I've added here so messages.error and then I have a class here of error and then you can see that I've already styled error I've styled it here to be crimson to be red like this so if I put the message onto the screen I should see a nice red message onto the screen so let's see if that's working so I start everything up again go back to my app just refresh and make sure it's running click on buy now Okay, so I get a nasty error here. 
so settings.price is not a function so let's have a look so we go to shop.root and then we want to say okay so settings here okay so settings is actually a function and then price is not a function so price is just an attribute on what's returned so let's have a look here if I go to shop you'll see that current price so it's not even price so it's current price okay so we have current price which is the attribute that comes back from the object you can see that settings is a function so I need to go back here and I need to say current price okay so let's go back now just refresh that and we say buy okay so now we don't get a message so let's just see what is wrong for me to see that I need to put a breakpoint here and let's stop this here I'll fire this up to be able to debug we run it here we refresh so that's nicely working I'll click on buy comes in here so it jumps over this price the current price okay so interesting the current price is not undefined the current price is zero okay so let's see so what I need to do here is I need to say when the price the price is zero or undefined so what I'm doing I know there's gonna be scenarios where price is undefined I'm gonna check if the price is zero give me the message if the price is undefined give me that message okay so now I need to restart this let's fire that up and let's put the it's back so now we just refresh this so let's just do that refresh click on buy please enter price below great okay so now I can go ahead and I can say okay set the price and now I can set 12 and then things are cool okay so one other thing I want to check now is also when I'm when I'm doing this okay so when I'm not entered any any quantity or how many things to buy I also want a message for that okay so how do I do that okay so let's see so what I can do now I've got this check here but what I can do now is down here I can also say if quantity okay so in this case I will convert make sure quantity is a number QTY is greater or equal to um, okay so if it's greater to, to zero what I want to do is I want to go ahead and I want to I want to buy something okay so I want to go ahead okay so that's happy days if the number is greater than zero okay else what I want to say here okay, well, it's formatting error I want to go ahead do that I want to say request dot flash to say that and then I have error now I want to say please enter a quantity okay so now we do that just do that like that take away this okay so let's see so refresh that okay we go back now we do this we click buy it tells me enter a price okay naughty me not enter the price set the price trying to buy something enter a quantity okay didn't put a quantity buy cool everything went well okay so now the last thing we want to do is um, we want to put another little message there to say thanks for buying okay so now down here what we want to do is after you people have bought something you want to say request.flash and then we want to say um, they just call it success okay and then you just say thanks for buying okay we just want to put a little message there okay so now you just do that let's just quickly so now what we now need to do remember so we were so far doing error messages now I've got a new type of message which is success okay so now we need to make sure that we put that onto the screen okay what I also want to do is I want to check I already have a success styling here okay so let's have a look okay 
So now we're going to say bye. I'm going to get our end error message. One thing we need to do because we're still doing this, we need to restart our app. And now we need to go in here and I need to say, okay, refresh. Everything will be gone now. I'm going to set the price of 12. I'm still getting my old message. Put in 5. Buy that. Thanks for buying. Okay, so now I've got a nice flash message here that is helping us to um, give some user feedback. So one thing you'll note now that will happen is this message will just sit here. So it won't disappear. What we can do, we can add a little bit of client-side JavaScript to make the message disappear. So let's do that quickly. So one thing we can do is now in our home.handlebars, we now need to add a new file. We need to add some, some client-side JavaScript. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to create a new file, which for the time being I'm going to call... Um, let's just call it client.js. So this is client-side JavaScript. So what we want to do here now is let's stop this here now. And let's start it here with Nodemon. So we want to grab hold of these two elements now. So in our home.handlebars, we've got these two elements. We've got error and success. So we need to get a hold of those two elements and we want to clean them out using JavaScript. So what I'm going to do here for the time being, I'm going to add, I'm going to, I need to add a query selector. Okay, so document dot query selector. Okay, so we're going to say control V dot error. And then we're also going to add below, below that. We're also going to add I'm going to say, so this other one is called success. Okay, so we're going to call this one. Okay, let, we're going to say error message element. Okay, we do that one, error message element. This one we're going to call let success message element. We're going to set that up like that. And now what I need to do is we're going to use something called set timeout. So that's like a built-in function in JavaScript. So we're going to set execute a function after a few seconds. Like I guess in this case we want this the message to be on the screen for about three seconds. And then we want to clean, we want to remove it. Okay. So in this case, what we want to do, I only want to run this code if there is already if there's a message on the screen. So what I want to do here is I want to say if dot inner HTML not equal to a blank. Okay, so if there's an error message on the screen or if there is a success message on the screen. Okay, dot inner HTML not, not equal to blank. Okay, put that on the screen. So now we do that. We're going to run our set timeout function. So we're going to put this in here. So let's have a look. Do that. Set timeout, fix some formatting errors. And then what we want to do now is we want to say error. Dot, you know, HTML is blank. And then we want to say success element dot inner HTML is equal to blank. Okay. Want to execute that, and then one thing you want to do is you want to make sure the DOM is successfully loaded. So I'm just going to say document dot add event listener. And this is what you want to say DOM content loaded is the event we want to use function. We put that there, and then we put all this code. In there, we want to format this nicely. Okay, so there's not a lot of errors there now. Delete that, delete that. ESLint is still moaning. Okay. Okay, so we want to go in here. So now we can go into home.handlebars. We can actually even go into our layout. Okay, and we can add a script. Script is or C. 
Okay, we're gonna say script is RC, and we're just gonna say here client dot js. Okay, so if all goes well now, we should have that message is appearing after three seconds. So let's have a look. So you see, currently the message is still sitting there. So now we need to refresh our code, and now we're gonna say buy. Okay, please enter a price below. Okay, it's and it disappeared. Okay, so that's great. So even now, if I go about doing, say, say 12 here, I said 5 here, I buy something, I get a success message, and we get whoop, the message disappearing. So what we can do, if you want the message on the screen for longer, you can go ahead and make this bigger. This is in milliseconds, so in this case it's 3 seconds, but what you can do, you can make that longer. So yeah, so now I know how to easily go about and add some more messages and things onto the screen. You can actually add another message, remember earlier, for when you put entering price. So we can quickly go ahead and add one more message here to say like um, if the price is, say for instance we put a price of zero or less than zero, we want to put a message on the screen. So in this case I want to make sure that price is a number and then I want to say price is less or equal to zero and then, and then we just need to add a message here. And then we need to say, hey, okay, we're going to say something like that. So we add press, please enter a price above zero. Okay, so let's, we can do something like that. Then we do an else statement here. So don't want to set the price. If the price is less than zero, go about here, shop.redirect, go up, and move this up here. Okay, so let's see. So now refresh this, set the price, enter a price above zero, we'll do that. Okay, you'll see that our message is also disappearing still. Okay, so that's how to use flash messages. Enjoy that.